Hey, remember that vine where I went to go get a chicken sandwich with Tien at 2 in the morning? And I said it was really ratchet. Anybody want to hear a story? So it's 2 in the morning and Tien turns to me. Bro, I'm hungry. What am I, your fucking dad, Tien? Bro, come on. I just want to get a chicken sandwich. I'm bored, so I'm like, Alright, let's go. Soon I would regret this decision! Why are you crossing the street? We're going to Kennedy's. At that point in time, I didn't want to do this anymore. Why can't we go to? The place is closed. No! So we get there. The establishment is roughly the size of Andrew Keys' old apartment. There's like 14 motherfuckers in- So I see this large amount of people and I turn to Tien. Whoa. Tien, this isn't worth it. This is the only place that's open. That's because it's two and- So he steps in line. And I step further into the establishment. And immediately, a gust of shit, cheese, and more shit hits my nostrils. Tian, do you smell that shit? Yeah. Does this not phase you at all? It's just cheese. I'm gonna wait outside! So I wait outside, and I'm waiting there. I'm waiting there. For 30 minutes, I'm outside! And as I start to lose my mind, um, I hear arguing inside! I was like, please, please don't be Tian. Can we go, please? P Luckily, it's not Tian. It's a large black man. Directly in front of Tian, the only thing. So the guy's arguing about ice cream? Ice cream? And then when they tell him to hold on, he starts spitting out racial slurs. Foreigners, man! Fuck! I'm feeding your family right now! I'm feeding your moms right now! Fucking foreigners! Can't let- Dude, what? So after a few seconds of this, obviously the people behind the counter are not going to serve him. They tell him this. Fuck your ice cream. So what this man does, I'm gonna spit in your fucking face. I'm gonna- Can you move, miss? There's a lady next to him. She moves, and he puts his head in between the slot in which there's bulletproof glass, and there's a hole for people to get their food. So he puts his head between it, and he spits in the man's face. Everyone in the establishment said, Oh, jeez, son of a bitch! Oh. I forgot to mention this. The guy behind the counter tries to spit back. His spit lands on the bulletproof glass. I forgot to mention that. So seconds after he got his face spit on. So now the guy behind the counter is about to fight the dude who spit in his face, and I'm like, Tian, let's get the fu So the guy behind the counter threatens to call the cops, and the big guy leaves. You know who doesn't leave? Tian. A gentleman who's still waiting for his food. Dude, there's spit. Your, your spit is on the bulletproof glass in which you serve his food. Can you wipe that off, please? And so... 15 minutes later, a woman says, Don't cook our food like that, I can tell you're rushing, it's gonna taste bad. And then another woman complains that her wingdings haven't arrived yet. That man has spit on his face. So after an extended amount of time, Tian's one goddamn chicken sandwich is ready. I see them bring him his food. <laughs> it's almost time! And he goes, Hold up, I didn't order fries. Tian. So we eventually leave and start walking home, and I turn to Tian and I go, I would make a vine about this, but it would take too long. I turn to Tian and I go, Dude, was it all worth it? And he says, <laughs> Tian, you didn't need me to go. You could have just went by yourself. Why'd you ask me to go with you? For uh, one of the company. Imagine me having to go through that by myself. Fuck you, Tian. <laughs>